Hello and welcome to the tutorial on ordering numbers. In this tutorial we're going to do numbers up to 100 but we are not going to use a number grid. We're going to work this out using tens and units and counting upwards. So let's work through our first example. Now suppose you have these three numbers. We've got 68, 93, and 74. And what the question says is, let's get the boxes in first. There are three numbers, so we're going to put down three boxes. And the question is, you have to reorder the numbers from the smallest to the largest number. smallest to largest. So how are we going to do this? Well if we look at our three numbers, first to make it really easy we look at the digit on the left hand side of each one. That is the tens. Now it could be hundreds, it could be thousands. In this example they, these are the tens. So how many tens are there in the first number? In 68 there are six tens. In number 93, how many tens are there? There are nine tens. And in number 74, how many tens are there? There are seven tens. Now, what do you notice about these three numbers? All three numbers are different. And what that means is that we can then order the numbers without even looking at the units. It doesn't even matter what those units are. Now how are we going to do this? Well we have to find the smallest number to the largest. So let's start from zero and count upwards. I'm going to write this down but you can do this with mental arithmetic. This is for illustration purposes. So I'm going to count upwards. You can count with me. Zero, one, two, three. Remember we have to stop when one of these numbers appears. The first one. Three, four, five, six. There we go. And that is six. And what number do we write down there? We write down the number at the top. It is 68. So we found our smallest number. Now what comes after six? Let's keep on counting. After six is seven. Well, we've got seven over here. And that number is 74. Let's write that down. That leaves one final number, 93. Let's write that down. And that's it. We have rewritten the numbers from the smallest to the largest. And all we had to look at was the tens, because those numbers were different and we were able to work it out. That was very easy. Now let's have a look at our second example. Now suppose we have these numbers here. We've got 87, 94, and 86. And this question is asking you to rewrite these numbers. Let's just draw the boxes in first. There are three numbers, therefore we've got three boxes. And in this question, it's asking you to write from the largest to the smallest number. So from the largest to the smallest number. So how do we do this? Well, it's exactly the same method as we used for the first question. We look at the digit on the left. We're going to look at the tens. The tens and the tens. Now I'm just going to scroll down so that we've got a bit more room to work with. So the first number, how many tens are there in the first number? There are eight tens. How many tens are there in the second number? Well, there are nine tens. How many tens are there in the third number? There are eight. What do you notice about these three numbers? Well, two of them are the same. That's the eight and the eight. But the nine is different. 
And if we were to count from 10 backwards, in fact, we'll do that now. Don't forget, we're trying to find the largest number first. If we were to count from 10 backwards, which number do you think comes first? Is it 8 or 9? Well, it's 9. That means that this one, which has got 9 tens, is the largest number out of the 3. Because 9 is larger than 8. Do you notice that 9 here and 8 over here? 9 is larger than both of those 8s. So the largest number is 94, and we can write that down. So now we are left with two numbers. We've got 87 and 86. 87 and 86. Now, which is the larger number of the two? Well, I'll tell you what we have done. We've looked at the tens for both, and they're eights. So we can't work it out because they're both the same. Now we look at the units. This one has got seven units. This number here has got six units. Now you should know this by now, but anyway, let's just work it out. Which is larger, seven or six? Well, let's count backwards. Ten, nine, before nine comes eight, and before eight there is seven. There it is, the seven. So therefore, the next number is 87. That leaves the last number, 86. So that is us reordering the numbers from the largest to the smallest. And notice, we looked at the tens first to begin with, and we managed to find the largest number. But we could not use the tens to work out the next number, because the eights were the same. And we had to look at we had to look at the units, and from that we worked out that eighty seven was the next largest, and the smallest number was eighty six and that is how we do how we order numbers up to one hundred using the tens and the units.